Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos every week. So I wasn't going to do a video because it's just a lot going on these days, but I needed to recap this amazing year with you all. I actually watched my end of the year vlog from last year and in that vlog, I had said that I was gonna, sh I didn't wanna share my goals because I didn't wanna kinda jinx anything and that I was gonna post in the beginning of the year what was going on and my vision board and everything. And then I realized I never did it. So I never told you what my goals were for this year. So what were those goals that I had this year? Did I meet them? Was I able to kind of manifest certain things into my life by creating a vision board? So I'm gonna share all of those details right now. So in the beginning of the year, I decided to, well, let's back it up even a little bit more. At the end of last year, I started to get a little into manifestation and kind of wishing things, not wishing things, but kind of speaking things into existence. And so I wanted to create a vision board. And so I created this vision board. I looked for some pictures that kind of represented certain things that I wanted to achieve and have and obtain this year. So when I did the vision board, I did have the intention on filming a video, but then I kind of said like, you know, again, I'm, I'm funny with stuff like that. I'm like, maybe this is a little bit of a jinx. I don't want to speak out to the world in a sense that what I actually have on my vision board, I wanted to keep it private. I wanted to see what was going to happen from it. And let me tell you, things happen. It's crazy. It's really kind of mind blowing, like how things played out. And as certain things were happening this year, I was noting on each picture the date that it happened. So now that this year is all done and said, so I'm just going to show you briefly my vision board that I had because I had to take it down anyway, because I have a new one for 2024. So it's a little crazy because it was on a big board. So I just pulled this off. So basically, this, you can't even see my face. This was my vision board. So just a couple things that I want to point out. I have some quotes here, some words that I want to, let me back this camera up just a little bit. Okay. So I have some words here, quotes, things that I wanted to accomplish. So what I thought was really crazy about this is that the things that I just kind of put an image up didn't happen in a sense. The things that I was very specific about, or maybe I didn't even realize how specific I wanted to be, actually happened exactly to the T. So, okay, this one right here, I just wanted some new studio lights. You know, I was using my ring light. If you watch any of my old videos, you see the glare of my glasses. And I just wanted a new ring light, which was crazy because, you know, obviously I already had a ring light. I ended up getting a new actual ring light, but the studio light. I really wanted studio lights. As you can see, you know, you've been following me all year. I got these studio lights. And what was crazy was I was just shopping on Amazon for studio lights because the vision board was in my room, but it's not something I looked at every single day. So it wasn't until like, I was like, oh, I got studio lights. Let me add that. I was like, wow, I actually got this same exact one. I didn't even realize that. That was crazy. So that happened. I wrote that. That was March 8th that I bought my studio lights. Then I wanted to, this picture represented my nail room. So at the beginning of the year, you know, I knew I wanted to redo the room. Um, at the time, I didn't even know I was gonna redo both rooms. And I still was trying to figure out what did I want it to look like? I didn't know anything. So I just found a picture of what I thought I maybe wanted it to be. I just found something on Pinterest and just posted it. So as we know, June, what date was that? June, it's in a marker. June 3rd was the day that I redid these nail rooms, so that happened. I wanted to up my filming and get a camera, and that was a big thing for me. Do I wanna do like a bigger phone and just keep shooting on my phone or do I wanna go camera? And I got the camera. I did get the camera. And actually, I was very close to getting this Canon camera, exactly, but last minute, I switched over to a Sony, but funny things happened that I just end up not liking the camera. It just wasn't for me and I went 
the phone route and just got a bigger phone that holds more videos and I can still just shoot everything on my phone. But I did get the camera February 9th. I bought that camera. And unbeknownst to me, I actually ended up buying this little stand before, I mean, way after I got the camera. And I actually bought it for when I want to shoot weird things. These are those things. I have posted this on my Instagram if you follow me there. I had gotten like four of them by mistake. And it's the same exact one. And I was like, that's so random because I that was something that I didn't even really want. It just actually happened. So that was on yeah February 9th. I wanted to go on vacation desperately. Something was going on in the universe where I wanted to go on vacation and me and my mom were trying to plan a trip to go to Italy. So I have a little picture of Italy here. That's like goal destination for me. And it didn't happen this year. We had a cruise booked and I don't remember why the Italy thing didn't happen. I think it was just, a, it was a lot going on this year. So that didn't happen. I did try to plan a vacation. I tried to go to Vegas to see Usher for my birthday. That was gonna be my little solo birthday trip. My flight got canceled, everything across the US. It was chaotic, I don't know if you remember, the end of June, it was like 4th of July weekend, that's my birthday. And everything got delayed or canceled across the border. And because it was a short trip, I just ended up having to cancel it. We tried to plan a Florida trip, I couldn't get the time off from work. We tried to go to DC, and then if that wouldn't work out, it was crazy. And I was like, you know what, this is the universe telling me, do not get on a plane. For whatever reason, three times I tried to take a trip this year and it was not working. Somebody's telling me, sit your ass right here. So I stopped trying after October and we're gonna put it onto next year. I have a lot of credits, I have miles, I have all this stuff from all these canceled things from this year. So I'm gonna be doing some traveling next year. So we're gonna repeat this, but we're gonna get a little bit more specific with our destinations when we are planning. I have a car here, I wanted a car. Um, I don't really want a Lexus, so this year's vision board is a little bit more specific as to the car that I want. Um, and then I have this check. I want it to be able to save $5,000 um, without getting into too much detail. Let's just say this exact check came to me this year which I thought was crazy. And that was in November. And that was something that was unexpected. And that was something that was, it just happened. But I thought it was very crazy that like, exactly like this. It was, it was, that was freaky. That was really free because I forgot about this. Cause at this point I stopped thinking about the vision board. You know, it's a lot going on. And then I was like, oh my God, I have a check on my vision board for $5,000. That's fucking bizarre. Nonetheless, that was in November. And then I have an ebook. I wanted to try to come up with an ebook. I'm not even mad at myself for this. There was so much going on this year that that just wasn't a possibility. So digital downloading, it takes a lot of time to make digital downloads and I just didn't have that. And just other quotes that say, I'm gonna make you so proud, note to self, worthy. Um, oh, I have this where it says, you got this. And it's two people holding hand. Um, that was supposed to represent some type of love or whatever. I had wrote a date on here when I started seeing somebody early in the year that ship sailed over it. So I have new quotes about letting the universe bring me soulmates and all that. We don't have time for all that. So that was that, but I did have the date on there. I decided one morning it was, it was time to claim my power back. And so I did. And creative, beautiful, worthy, patient, blessed, and all these things that I put on here. So seeing is believing, and I just thought that it was very interesting. This is the first time in my whole entire life that I did a vision board, and it was just kind of interesting, especially to write the dates, to like every time something happened, I can go up to it and kind of check it off. So I do think, you know, if you are doing a vision board, whether it's personal or for your business, it could be for both. This was a little bit of both. Definitely take a glance at it. Keep it somewhere where you don't have to constantly stare at it, but you want to see it. You want it to be in your presence. Mine's is in my bedroom. It's not like facing me or anything, but I do see it every day, but sometimes I don't really pay attention to it. But it was just very fun to see stuff. And every time something happened, I got to take a pencil and check, you know, check it off. And again, 
we don't kick ourselves when something doesn't happen. It's just, like I said, we're gonna do a new picture, get a little bit more specific about these goals. And that's what I think with the manifestation is about. With uh, those other things, it was just, oh, let me find a picture of Italy. Let me find a picture of a car. Let me blah, blah, blah. So this year, I really thought about envisioning what I wanted to happen and I wanted specific. I was super specific with the images that I'm using for 2024's vision board because I want to see it come out just like that. So that was my vision board. That was some of my goals that I wanted to achieve personal and a little bit more for business. So also, as you know, if you've been following me, you know that I went back to school. I went back to teaching in January. So all this year I've been teaching. Um, that did take time away from obviously me doing nails. So I was teaching my classes Monday through Friday and it's about five hours, five days a week. And then I'm doing nails Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday is my double day. And it was a lot, it was a lot this year. I did run around like crazy, but I did it because I wanted to have that savings. I knew when I made this vision board, I wanted to save. Saving was a big thing for me. I wanted to get it together for saving. Nails does fine, pays the bills, whatever. But is there any extra to really save to really see? Cause you know, as time happens, we have to dip into our savings. So it's like, I don't wanna save and then I gotta dip into it. Save and then dip into it. I wanted to just like, Save, put it aside, don't think about it. So I wanted to do that for a little bit more stability. Um, again, you know nails, we can have excellent months, we can have terrible months. You know, it just, it, it really varies. So I wanted more, a little bit more stability with that and I wanted that extra income to save. So it did take a lot away from work, but it is what it is. Again, we have to do what we gotta do. So because of that, I was able to save, you know, throughout the year and set up some things that can come directly from that paycheck so I could save and, you know, get things a little bit more prioritized. So I was very grateful for that. So that was another thing that I really wanted to do and I was able to achieve this year. So also YouTube, YouTube was amazing this year. I had so much fun on YouTube. Uh, Vlogmas really kicked my ass. I'm gonna try to do this again next year. I'm really gonna try to do Vlogmas next year, but I need to plan it ahead. I was just very upset at myself that all of the things that I shot in Vlogmas, I did it so tight and it was crazy and I could kick myself for not doing it sooner because all of that stuff I did could have been pre-filmed. I could have did that in the summertime whatever like it, i was just upset at myself but youtube did amazing this year definitely vlog was helped it brought new people so if you're watching and you know welcome hello so it brought about a good 1700 subscribers i got this year so while some people again i don't compare myself there's people that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and views and this i know i'm just going to keep doing what i'm doing i'm going to keep talking to you guys and whoever wants to stay will stay whoever will join will join whoever will leave goodbye and it is what it is i'm here i enjoy doing this i love sharing knowledge with you guys and chit-chatting and all this stuff so welcome to the 1700 of you that have joined me this year i definitely appreciate you and i was actually able to actually have some type of income from youtube you know i got monetized last october so i didn't get an actual payout until this year if you guys want a video on and I've been debating about this for a long time, on how much I make on YouTube. I was like, should I be one of these people that make a video about that? How to get monetized? How much money I need on YouTube? I don't mind doing it and sharing numbers with you guys. You'll be very surprised, but let me know. Leave me a comment down below if you are somebody that has a channel, you're somebody that's thinking about doing a channel. I could do, I did a video at the top of last year. I'll leave a link above about starting a YouTube channel in 2023 and how you can do that, or a beauty channel, I should say. But let me know if you want a video on how much do I actually make from these videos, from doing YouTube, and I will work that into next year. But I was actually able to make some income from YouTube, so again, that was amazing. So overall, the moral of today's story is I worked my ass off this year. <laughs> Just to say, I, I worked my ass off this year. I'm not, you know, like Issa Rae said, entrepreneur it means I did that shit and that's a fact and if you are running a business 
lashes, hair, nails, all of that, whatever. You're an entrepreneur and you did that shit this year. So it doesn't matter if you made $30, if you made $3,000, $300,000, you did that shit. So you take it and you go into 2024 and you say, how can I make this more? We don't wanna do that again. We never wanna repeat. We wanna do that more. How can we level up? I'm gonna level up. What can I do to flip this and double it or 10% more, 20% more? So think about what you can do going into next year and plan. And I always be realistic with your goals. I think a lot of times we tell ourselves, oh, so next year I'm gonna make $50,000 and this, this, and that. And and you know that's something you make 10 this year or whatever the case may be. You wanna be realistic with your numbers. So when you hit that, it feels so damn good when you're realistic with a goal and you hit it. Don't make a goal that is not really too obtainable. We wanna push ourselves, but we don't wanna disappoint ourselves. So remember that in trying to set any type of goals for your business. So I'm happy that I, I'm sorry, there's a blood in here. I hate blood. Is it? This is why I can't keep the window open. I'm sorry. So I have some amazing things that I want to do next year. I'm very, very excited. I don't know why I have this like anxious excitement about 2024, which is very weird because I don't know why I feel excited, which is always one of those things. It's like, I wonder what's gonna happen. I feel excited. And so Nail Chat is definitely going to be back. You know, everything happened this year and I just didn't have the time, but I really like doing Nail Chat. Um, so Nail Chat will be back with a little bit of a twist possibly. Um, I will be doing some more in-person classes. So please follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I I'm, I'm, I'm getting there with TikTok. I'm, I'm digging it. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. So follow me on TikTok, please. Follow me on Instagram. I post everything there first and then I throw it in a video by afterwards. But first and foremost, notifications, people ask me about classes. Some of you have been asking me about state board classes. Maybe I have something in mind for an in-person state board class, nail art classes, technique classes, all of that. Maybe I have all that in the works. So we'll see what happens in 2024. So the thing is, while I did work a lot, self-care obviously was just something that I need to reclaim. I worked a lot. I did a lot for customers, for students, for work, for my job, for all this stuff. And I need a little bit of self-care and taking care of myself and not being so crazy. So 2024 for me, if I can sum it up, is going to be self-care and putting myself first, not second, not third, but I have to be first. And that means by any means necessary. That's just something that I lacked this year. And I didn't really see it until the end of the year more recently. And I have to, I'm starting the year off with taking care of myself in, out, emotional, mental, physical, everything, and just getting it done. So that's something that I have to do. So I am gonna take a little bit of a break at the start of the year, a little bit longer. I will still be posting, just not as often, for at least January, maybe February, then we'll see how it goes. But I am gonna take a break so I can focus on those other things for myself for a little bit, not worry about scripting and filming and editing and posting and all this stuff like that. I do wanna just kinda like take that out of my mind just for a bit. Again, I will have something up in January. It still will be stuff, but just not weekly for at the very least January. Let's just talk about January. I don't like to talk too much about the future, but we'll see what happens after that. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for commenting. I appreciate all of you. Again, welcome to anyone that is new. I will be back next year, new content. Until then, I have so many videos on here that you can go, just binge watch them. Just sit down, binge watch all the old videos. I think I have like over 300 videos at this point, which is crazy. Watch all of that so you don't miss me. You won't miss this face if you are binge watching me. So I will see you next year. Have a happy and safe holiday. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And that's a wrap.